Okay, shoulder mounts. What is it about shoulder mounts that makes them so much harder than a standard pole invert? Let's take a look at the differences. Just like in our basic invert, for our shoulder mount lift, we use primarily our hip flexors to lift our knees off the floor in an open chain movement, which is stabilized by the strength of our core. Our biceps work hard isometrically to maintain the bent arm position of our shoulder mount, and our lats are the prime movers that lift our body up between our arms. Just like in our invert, the muscles of our upper back, particularly our lower and mid traps and rhomboids, work to keep our shoulder girdle strong and prevent our shoulder blades from protracting. In our V position, our abductor muscles create this wide straddle, our hip rotators work to keep our legs externally rotated, and our quads of steel are working for that beautiful straight leg line. At first glance, you can see that there is a lot of crossover with the invert. We're using all the same key muscle groups, but there are three important differences. One, we usually begin our shoulder mount in this slightly extended spinal position, especially if we're doing it aerially. This means our core is working not just statically to stabilize our position, but also to actively move into this flexed position. This places a much higher load on our core muscles, particularly the rectus abdominis. Two, the point of contact with the pole is no longer in front of us, but behind us. This creates a longer distance from the point of contact and our midline meaning longer levers to work with, less stability and more effort required to stabilize and move. Finally, there's the added complication of the grip point for the shoulder mount. Because we use a cup grip and the shoulder as a contact point, it's a higher level skill that requires a little more conditioning and confidence to execute versus the invert where we have the pole in a more familiar stronghold grip close to our body and with that extra visual and tactile feedback that comes with it. If you want to geek out with me a little more on the biomechanics of pole, check out my blog, my online programs and my book, Strength and Conditioning for Pole, at thepolept.com. But there are three important differences. One, can you just be quiet please? <laughs> um, okay, shall I carry on? <laughs> no. You're gonna be in it. You're gonna be in the movie. You don't. You have to learn how to not look so awkward if you're gonna be in the movie. You're not made for TV, Mackie. <laughs>